In September, a Queen of Hearts drawing in Black River came down to the very last card. After nearly a year of weekly drawings, Nicolette Werner hit the jackpot at the Village's American Legion. Werner, who organizers say volunteers a lot of time to the Legion, took home more than $27,000. Legion members say by the final drawing, the tensions were thick. Oh, it's chaos. It's like you could hear a pin drop. Uh, you know, it stops and then everybody, you know, they all look at me and then my hand shaking as I'm pulling the card, you know. Uh, but, you know, it was, it, it's, it's crazy to go into the last card. You almost never see that anywhere. Meanwhile, the summer ended with a mystery in Clayton, with locals wondering who won the million dollar lottery ticket. It was the talk of the town after a second prize Powerball ticket was sold at Slider's Food Mart in mid-July. The mystery lasted months as people wondered if the ticket was sitting on top of someone's refrigerator, lost in the clutter of a table, or being held onto on purpose. They're getting all their ducks in a row, getting their lawyers involved, getting all that, and uh, learning to cope with it. In late September, the puzzle was finally solved. Joanne Jeske of Binghamton came forward with the winning ticket to settle the million dollar mystery. Our last story today shows a daughter's love for her mom. Sandy Torres takes us to a bridal shop where a touching letter won a dress from a touch of grace. The one in the dress, Heidi Hitchcock, a widow, mother of three, and now a bride-to-be. Her 13-year-old daughter, Courtney, secretly wrote a letter to this bridal shop after a touch of grace, announced it was giving away a wedding gown. I was shocked. <laughs> I had no idea. Her daughter says her mom deserves the dress of her dreams. For the past eight years or so, we've been, she's been raising us by herself, and where we are now is because of her, so I feel like she deserves a lot of stuff. I probably wouldn't have gone out and tried on a bunch and picked out one that I really loved. I probably would have just got something to just do it so that we could just have it done and so it makes it that much more special. Courtney's letter hit home for the shop owner. I'm a mom and a grandmother and so I, I have two daughters of my own so I put myself in her position and you know the, the, the love that was in that letter was just overwhelming. But Heidi found love knocking on her door and after many years of dating the groom Matt she thought it was time to walk down the aisle again. And that's our show. Thanks for spending the last half hour with us as we celebrate the heart of the North Country. From all of us at Channel 7, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.